in this module we will find out how to uh, know who all are your repeat customers who all are your new customers right so let's define the repeat customer first so in case somebody has bought like five six products be it in a single order or in separate orders and after that he did not uh, come to the store any time not in 2015 not in 16 not in 17 not till now then he is not a repeat customer in case somebody has made the purchases in multiple years in more than one year then he will be taken as repeat customer so this is how we have defined repeat customer now we will uh, look at the way we can find out the number of new customers or repeat customers right so uh, first of all we will be doing it using major so let's create a major so the name of the major is repeat customers equal to so we will count rows in a sub table which will be created using the filter function so basically we need to take distinct customer ids right and on the basis of that for each and every customer id unique customer id we will find out the number of orders being placed right with different order ids not with the same order id so what will we do we will use calculate then to take distinct order ids we have used distinct count order id is greater than 1 right so this is the major we have written now take row card and let's have this repeat customers value in this so 70 customers are the repeat customer but how many unique customers we have like how many total customers we have let's take another row card right now take the customer id and take the distinct count so total we have 793 customers and 780 are the repeat customers so it means we have 13 new customers so this we have calculated using dex how to do it without dex so now the question is can we do it without dex yes we can do so most of the work which we do using dex can be done without dex as well so guys always prefer the easy way right so now take a matrix and take customer id in the rows and order ids in the values in the order id take distinct count let's sort this out like this and in the order id take the filter is less than 1 it means we are finding out the number of order ids which is less than 1 it means they are the new customers right let's remove it let's check again so the count of order id is less than or equal to 1 apply filter it's coming out to be 13 it means we have 13 those customers where the order id is 1 distinct order id i mean it means they are the new customers which is coming out from here as well and it is same 793 minus 780 is 13 all only so this is how we can do uh, this calculation with and without dex both so let's have a look at this formula again so basically we have counted the rows in a sub table this is the sub table right which has been created using the filter function where we have taken the first column of the sub table as distinct customer id and for every customer id then we are calculating the distinct count for order ids right so that we are not uh, taking that count into the consideration where with the same order id the customer has bought multiple products so this is how this has been done let's increase the font a bit
So where to use this information? Uh, in case you have more repeat customers and less new customers, then you can divide your team into two parts. One to pick more new customers because it's very less, 13. And second, to give more offers to the repeat customers so that they are not leaving your company. They are not leaving the usage of your products. Then it would be a permanent sale you would be having in your portfolio, right? So this is how this information can be used in your business. Mm -hmm.